In this pillar, we will provide the organization and leadership pillar, which is very important to manage all the other five, four pillars. This is very important because this is the people part. So anything that we are thinking about, anything that we are designing will not be done except by having competent people. So this pillar is concerned about the organization that will be made in order to deliver the value for the organization and also how to lead this organization and how to lead the people and empower them and inspire them and influence them in order to deliver this value to the organization so in this section we have five in this pillar we have five sections and the most important book here it's it's already seven habits of highly effective people this is just for you're reading outside the CMRT certification and we are covering this knowledge areas here in this certificate. So in the first pillar, we need to know the concept of the culture itself. The culture is any common belief between any group of people. For any organization, we have organizational culture. Organizational culture is what all the people in this plant, in this operation are believing in. So if we are all believing in not to repair the equipment when it fails it's called regressive on or if we believe it will be repaired after it failed it will be reactive or we believe it should be planned pm so it will be planned or culture unlike this so this is what we believe so sometimes if we are here in this region if we are in a reactive organization we will be in need to move to be world class or to be improved organization so we should make organizational change through changing the behavior of people we should have some success and then the behavior of people will change then the culture will be changed at the end of the day also very important is to have inventory staff skills in order to measure the capacities the competencies either person personal capacity or, te or technical competency of people and based on this library we can size our gap and start to put improvement for each employee in the organization to realize the value to the organization. Also, we should develop an organization structure to perform in order to deliver the value to the organization. We may have centralized organization, decentralized organization, hybrid organization. For example, in centralized organization, you may have only one condition monitoring team covering three plants. But for each one of the three plants, you have a maintenance team. So in this case, this decentralized position of the maintenance team and centralized position of the condition monitoring team will be called hybrid team. And for each one of them, we will have some advantages and some disadvantages. Then this organizational structure will be based on specific rules and responsibilities and governance and how to manage the relationship between all these people and we will need to have a lot of functionalities in order to deliver the maintenance and reliability rules in order to deliver value to the organization so we should have computerized maintenance management system and the people to manage it competency management system preventive maintenance program work management system planning and scheduling failure elimination and reliability design for reliability resource management safety workforce development spares management condition-based maintenance and predictive maintenance and a lot of other resp responsibilities and rules that should be delivered in order to deliver the value to the organization also we should have a RASI matrix that will draw who will be responsible for each task and who will be accountable and who will be consulted or informed sometime it's called RASCI which is R-A-S-C-I responsible accountable informed consulted and supportive also to be added to them this is a sample form of a maintenance planning RASI model so you are having the RASI matrix like this and this is RASCI then we should develop our personnel through the database that we are having. We start to collect the requirement based on the competency gaps that we are having for each one, link it to the organizational requirement and organizational objectives for the next period. Then we can have a, a plan for training and plan for development. Then we can deliver value more to our organization. For sure, we should have a performance evaluation, the most important one, which is called the behaviorally anchored rating scales or bars, which is like 
the techniques that is used in all of our plants to have some people are taking category A, some people are taking category B, C, and D, which is based on bell curve, and it's already the same concept called Bard's system. Then we have to measure the return on investment for our planning or for our training based on our plan. Then we have also another tool called employee life cycle, which we hire employee, then we inspire, then admire till he retire. So this is a very important tool for managing personnel. And we have succession planning to have a second staff and third staff for the first staff in order to manage any absence of any one of them top management of or any one of the first staff and also if he's leaving the organization the organization is not affected and all the time we are also inspiring and empowering people to take better rules for the future that's why we are retaining them to our organization fifth pillar is to lead and manage people leadership is a very important thing leadership keyword is to influence people to both to take action for the favor of our organization, for people or for leadership, the most important thing is to have good vision and good energizing or inspiring for people. This is very important and leadership is one of the magic tools for the success of any organization. For sure, any one of us can be a leader and can be a manager, so you can have some personality which is a manager and also a leader. So if he is a leader, he will be influencing and inspiring and helping and pulling the people. And if he is manager, he will be punishing and pushing people through the, the responsibilities that they are required to do. So both of them are required. So manager is not bad. Leader is not a magic tool, is not angel. Both of them are required. Both of them are required for the management of our organization. Then also we have something called the multi-generational workforce so sometimes you have very old people and very young people for these generations they are having different mentalities different way of thinking different traits for the personality so we should be aware about these traits and about these differences and start to manage these differences in these generational gaps then we should know the seven habits of highly effective people how to manage yourself how to lead people and how to unleash the potential so this is very golden to tool for any one of us in his personal life to have more success in his life then we have team formation stage we have teams formed first then team is storming we have some conflicts each one is abided to his own mindset then we are norming and start to perform and excel in performance then the project is ended we are adjourning and people are leaving to other places Final thing here is the contracts. We have something first called outsourcing. We are getting maintenance contracts or maintenance resources in order to deliver value to our organization. This is to just reduce the risk to our organization and also to be cost effectively performance. For example, I may decrease the, the cost of insurance, cost of medical insurance, cost of life insurance. If I don't need this person anytime, I can release him and also there is some very technical job so i don't have to hire this very highly paid job i can just get the contract outsourced for one or two days per month and get my jobs done but the risk here is that people are not loyal to the organization and a lot of issues with responsiveness and issues other issues like this also we have contracts we are making fixed price contract or time and material contract and cost reimbursable contract this is in terms of the people management or material management or project management so we should be aware about the differences between this so all of the previous con of, of the previous concepts will be handled in our free course which or our detailed course we will have free study material you will have it provided in english or arabic also you will have videos you will have question solving with each other more than hundreds of questions in addition to full exam solution with each other then full MOOC exam like the real exam and life support through telegram or whatsapp till the end of your journey and succeeding the exam and in case of any casualty you will be having money back guarantee and also you will have more than 1000 questions exams for each pillar and seven full exams and very for very limited time we have 
20% special discount and for sure if you need to register we would be happy for you to scan this QR code or just contact us directly in these